Hi loves, it's Miss Antinko. Okay, today we are going to look at mitosis. This is the steps of the nucleus dividing to create two new identical nuclei for the two new cells. Remember, cells have to go through mitosis when they need to grow or heal. So whenever you've grown up or you've gotten a cut and those cells have needed to heal, they've gone through mitosis. Just a reminder, this is an actual cell going through mitosis. Here you have one of the new cells and another new cell. What's going on inside is the process of mitosis. Here we have a recap of the cell life cycle. You have gap one. This is when a cell is carrying out its normal functions. Synthesis, the copying of the DNA so that each new cell can have a correct copy of the DNA to function. Gap two, which is additional growth and functioning. And then finally, what we're gonna focus on today, mitosis and cytokinesis. Just wanna give you a heads up. The actual stages of mitosis are just these four, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So when I say the steps of mitosis, I mean these four steps. Cytokinesis is a completely separate step. At the beginning of mitosis, the chromosomes have to condense. Anybody who has moved knows it's way easier to pack up your stuff, put it in a box, and move it to the next place. Your DNA wants to do the same thing. This is how we think our DNA normally exists. When your cell is functioning, going through gap one, it's unwound so that your cells can easily make proteins. When you need to go through cell division, the DNA needs to get wrapped up around these proteins and coiled up and even more and more super coiled until you have a chromosome. During synthesis, remember you made a copy of your DNA. So you have 23 pairs or total of 46 chromosomes. You received 23 from your mom, 23 from your dad. So during synthesis, you make a copy. So you started with 46, All right? You started with 40, six, you go through synthesis, that S phase, and you're gonna end up with 92. Well, just like I said, we don't wanna be disorganized, so your cells like to condense down and they like to partner up. So you've got your original copy with your, or you've got your original with the copy. All right, let's look at this chromosome for a second. So this is what we think of when we think of chromosomes, this nice little X shape. But what you really have, this is the original, and we call this a chromatid, and all it is is that condensed DNA. Over here is what we call the sister chromatid, and this is an exact copy of this information. So this is original, and this is the copy. That's how you end up with 96. 46 plus 46 during synthesis, you get 92. You have a couple structures on your chromosome. You have the centromere, which is a protein structure that helps hold them together. We don't want anything to get disorganized. And then you have the telomere, which is this section on the end. This is a protective section that is there to protect your DNA information here during replication. All right, now we're going to begin the actual steps of mitosis. If we're in the cell cycle, we're right about here. We're just about to begin this prophase. Okay, the entire purpose of mitosis is to create genetically identical cells. So you start with one cell, maybe a healthy skin cell, and you, it just, remember about every two weeks, those cells have to replace themselves. So during this process of mitosis, we wanna create two identical daughter cells, all right? You want identical cells because they need to perform the identical function. So if you have a heart cell, you need to create identical heart cells so they can still function properly. So there are four main phases of mitosis, and let's look at them. You have prophase. Here you see that those chromosomes are all condensed down into that X shape. So in your cell, you would have 46 of these, each with their copy. You can see the nuclear envelope or that nuclear membrane is breaking down. And then you have your centrioles and spindle fibers. 
over here is an image of a cell that is a picture of a cell going through mitosis. So this is prophase. This is the first part. All right, the second step is metaphase. Meta means middle, and as you see here, the chromosomes are lined up in the middle. They're all nice and neat and organized because remember, we want identical daughter cells. The centrioles have moved to the opposite poles, so you can think of this as Earth. You have a North Pole, a South Pole, and then the chromosomes are lined up on the equator. Over here, you can see this in the actual picture of a cell going through mitosis. Next is anaphase. This is when those sister chromatids separate. So 46 chromosomes are going to go this way, 46 chromosomes are going to go that way. These spindle fibers and the centrioles basically act like a fishing rod. So you throw that fishing rod out there, catches onto the fish, you can think of the chromosomes as a fish, and then centrioles kind of pull those chromosomes to each pole. Here you see a cell going through telophase. You have the chromosomes are uncoiling, you have the nuclear envelope coming back, you have the centrioles calming down, and the spindle fibers are getting shorter. Right here we have our cleavage furrow. It's an area that's starting to pinch in. So you can imagine cell is going through prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and as everything's happening it's kind of doing this. And then right here is that cleavage furrow, so eventually Boop! You've got two new cells in a second. All right, cytokinesis is not a part of mitosis, but it is the last step before the cell actually splits in half. In animal cells, the what is the cell membrane is starting to pinch off and close. And in plant cells, you have something called a cell plate forming. This will become the cell wall that plant cells have. Here you see that you have two distinct new cells after cytokinesis. You have the nucleus in each one with identical DNA. You have the centrioles, spindle fibers, and then what you don't see is all of the other organelles that are in here. So during mitosis, you have nuclear division, but cytokinesis helps split everything else in half. You'll have mitochondria in each one. You'll have endoplasmic reticulum in each one. Um, you'll have Golgi bodies in each one, lysosomes, all of those organelles we spoke about earlier. That's all I have today on mitosis. Just a couple of recaps. First, the DNA has to have a copy. So during synthesis, we start with our original 46 chromosomes. You go through synthesis and now you have 92. After synthesis, your cell goes to G2. And then after that is mitosis. And there are four distinct steps in mitosis. You have prophase, where your chromosomes are condensing and the nuclear envelope is disappearing. You have metaphase, where the chromosomes are lining up in the middle. The nuclear envelope is completely gone. Anaphase, where they are separating. Those chromosomes are separating and going to those opposite poles. And then finally telophase. This is when you start to see the nuclear envelope come back. The chromosomes are uncoiling and you start to see a cleavage furrow or a cell plate forming. All right, if you would like one more way to remember those steps of mitosis, you can think of PMAT. P for prophase, M for metaphase, A for anaphase, T for telophase. All right, if you would like one more way to remember the steps of mitosis. All right, let's get our hands. So our fingers are gonna be our chromosomes, all right? So you have prophase, all right? All of those chromosomes are condensed in the middle of that nucleus. Next, you have metaphase, where those chromosomes, remember your fingers are the chromosomes, have lined up in the middle. The next step is anaphase. All right, those chromosomes are starting to separate from each other. And then finally, you have telophase, where they are condensing back down into that nucleus again. And you have two new identical, or they have to be identical for mitosis, two new daughter cells that can now go back into G1 and start functioning properly. A good way to study for this and remember the different steps is to draw and label each step of mitosis. So a picture for prophase with all of the structures labeled and what's happening. And the same for metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So loves, if you have any questions, remember you can reach me at remind101 and check schoology.com for updates. Bye guys.